Raypack, part of the Ream family of companies. As a reminder to all of our participants, the instruction provided in this training is intended for qualified and experienced professionals. If you are not qualified, please do not attempt to apply these instructions on your own. This is another presentation of Raypack's Boiler Bite-Sized Bits. Welcome to another Boiler Bite-Sized Bit. In this presentation, you will learn how to set the Versa dip switches for the MVB and Xtherm commercial boilers. The Versa board for these boilers is located in the junction box behind the front panel. There are eight dip switches on the Versa board and they are easily accessible at the bottom of the board. These are the eight Versa dip switches. We will discuss each of them on the following slides. Dip switch number one is a limit switch for the access level. This comes in handy when there is the potential for untrained hands working on the equipment. When the access level is limited, the lock icon will show on some of the screens. Turn dip switch number one on to regain full menu access. Dip switch number two tells the boiler if it is a master or a follower. When there is only one boiler, it is always a master. In cascade systems, there can be only one master. Always use 18 gauge stranded copper wire for cascade communications. Only use non-shielded cable. You can now connect up to seven followers to the master for an eight boiler cascade. Use the shortest possible run, not to exceed 200 feet. The first three followers connect from each follower PIM to the master versa on the FT bus. As stated, always use 18 gauge stranded, non-shielded copper wire for these connections. With the new software, four additional follower PIMs can be connected to the master PIM. These four additional followers will be called follower 5, 6, 7, and 8. They will wire up PIM to PIM in a daisy chain fashion. This connection is called a TN bus. Dip switch number three turns on the cold water protection options. This family of boilers requires a minimum inlet temperature of 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The Xtherm has cold water protection as a standard feature. These menu items become available with Versa dip switch number three activated. The function of each will be discussed next. With dip switch number three on, this menu will be available in the adjustment section. This is where you make changes to the cold water protection settings. Mixed type describes the type of cold water protection that is present. If it is a three-way valve like depicted here, then the mixed type is valve. If an injection pump is used, like on our external models, then the mixed type is pump. If there are multiple boilers in cascade, and the cold water protection is a three-way valve set up down by the decoupler, then the mix type is plant. Mix target is the minimum inlet level the boiler can take. The lowest this can be set to is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. If the mix target is not met in seven minutes, the boiler can either alarm and keep running or alarm and shut off. The mix lock setting determines this action. The mix speed setting is used for defining the rate of response of the cold water protection system. Generally, medium is best. Mix inverse is used to define which way the spring actuator works for the three-way valve used on the cold water protection system. Different manufacturers set them up differently. If the actuator responds with zero to 100% open, with a 0 to 10 volt DC signal, then set mix inverse to off. If the actuator responds with a 0 to 100% open with a 10 to 0 volt DC signal, then set the mix inverse to on. Mix trim allows for a final fine tuning of the cold water protection system. Scaled from minus five to plus five, it allows you to give the system a little nudge one way or the other if necessary. Some three-way valves need a 0 to 20 milliamp signal instead of a 0 to 10 volt DC signal. If the valve selected needs a milliamp signal,
Then turn on dip switch number 4. A 500 ohm resistor will be required. Dip switch number 5 is not used. Dip switch number 6 will be discussed on the next slide. Dip switch number 7 is used on indirect pool heaters that are part of our X-Therm family. Dip switch number 8 is not used. Dip switch number 6 controls heater rotation. This is some cool Raypack technology. When in cascade, turn on dip switch number 6 on the master boiler. After 48 hours of burner runtime and the current call for heat is satisfied, the next boiler in the cascade with the least amount of burner run hours will fire on the next call for heat. Now say you have a boiler that is running in perfect harmony with the building and the boiler is just modulating up and down as needed but never actually shutting off. We have a solution for that too. At 60 hours of continuous burner runtime, the boiler will go to target plus differential, putting a small extra shot of heat into the system and then shut off. At that point, the next boiler in the cascade will fire up as above. If you are setting up a single MVB or Xtherm boiler with a cold water protection system, this is how to set the Versa dip switches. Numbers 1, 2, and 3 on. All others off. Be careful in adjusting the dip switches. That soft plastic tab can shear off easily. Use the tip of a ballpoint pen or better yet, a dip switch tool. If you are using a screwdriver, you might shear off that little tab. This has been a boiler bite-sized bit on setting the Versa dip switches for the MVB and Xtherm boilers. Look for more boiler bite-sized bits from Raypack. Raypack, engineered to perform, built to last.